Hey guys, how's it going? Comparing here. So yesterday I made a video with a lot of different builds and uh, the one that I think caught a lot of people's attention, maybe you guys haven't seen the stream in the last uh, maybe day and a half, is the Discharge build, especially that I said it's probably the most OP build uh, out there. Um, it's a build that you definitely don't want to try in hardcore unless you know exactly what you're doing, have all the gear and have all the levels, which no one does right now. But the way it works is uh, fairly simple. You get the Vols Protector. For each target you hit with a crit, you get a power charge. You get the new amulet. When you use up a power charge, or when it expires, you get an, an endurance charge. And when you have max power charges and use discharge, it consumes them and then gives you endurance charges. And if you can go pack to pack before the set of charges expire, then you have full uh, endurance and full power charges if you crit the targets. And also you can get the frenzy charges by being um, a character that uses Blood Rage. Now this character here is life, and this is not an actual discharge build that anyone would ever survive with uh, playing hardcore. But it is one that um, I respect my dead wander to, and uh, I did so just to see what the build would look like. Uh, the main thing to note is that I have Eldritch Battery and I have a lot of mana as a result. Whereas if I was normally CI, which is in my opinion required for the build, uh, I would have almost no mana at all and would have to rely on seething pots. That's why the build has an extreme gear requirement, because if you don't one-shot all the monsters, you don't get the potion charges, and if you don't get the potion charges, you don't have the mana to cast the spell again. So, uh, you guys can check out the exact build if you want in the previous video, but uh, the main difference is that it gets a vault pack. And the reason this is important is, uh, with Vault Pack, you don't one-shot yourself most of the time. Uh, the way it works is, um, with Vault Pack, if you hit like a, you know, 100 monsters, each monster will life leech you the life back before it hits another one. So if you can't one-shot yourself against Reflect against a single enemy, you won't one-shot yourself with Discharge ever. And to use Volpack with life is uh, not very practical. One, because um, you can't use life pots, you can't regen your life through any other form but life leech. And two, because you can't actually get like eight, nine thousand life as you can get energy shield now. And that means that even though you may have Volpack, even though you may have found a solution for dealing without using potions, you won't have enough life to survive a really big crit anyway. That's why it's not practical without CI, and that's why you have to have Vault Pack. Uh, the build is, is pretty similar to what I have now. Discharge, Life Leech, Increased Crit Strikes, Increased Crit Damage, Increased Area of Effect. The 6 link is actually not necessary, because um, you know if you use like Conk Effect, you will one-shot yourself, even with all the um, uh, things I mentioned. Um, the build, the reason it's so OP is because Discharge does such an insane amount of damage and it hits such an insane amount of targets that it's absolutely ridiculous. This is how the build works. To get started, you do Crit Weakness, you cast Enduring Cry to give you some Endurance Charges. You don't have that high crit at this point, but because you have Critical Weakness, the critical roll from your curse is rolled individually. So if, even if you don't crit overall, you might crit a single target. Um, that happened not be the case because the curse expired right as I casted it. There I just crit. There was more than seven targets, so I got seven and uh, seven power charges. Right now I'm only functioning off power charges, where normally I'd have uh, a lot more. But this build, um, if I crit, will one shot pretty much any mob. Even if this is even if this is a six player, it wouldn't matter. I'd still one shot them all. Sometimes you get really l low rolls because uh, discharge is, um, you know, like twenty one to four ten lightning damage, something like that, um, and that's obviously multiplied by the number of power charges you have. So even though you know your damage is capable of one-shotting anything, and it will typically, sometimes you get very unlucky. And that's why the build without the endurance charges, without going CI and using Blood Rage, uh, has some issues with consistency, so you may leave some monsters behind. But this is, um, this is Merciless Fell Shrine. Uh, this character is not really geared for uh, discharging, it's a wander. It just has the required crit, and I kind of know what I'm doing. And just show you guys the range here. You know, I'll, I'll try to get those right to the edge of the screen. Yeah, so it's, it's most of the screen. 
Uh, actually, maybe there was some desync there. I think sometimes you can hit a little bit more than that. But yeah, this is um, this is with most, but not all of the radius passives that I would normally have. And this is with a level 17 non-quality increased area of effect. So I want to end the video just by showing you guys uh, what's going on here. Uh, oh, and if you run out of power charges, what you use is you use Ice Spear, and you can point blank it. And if you crit point blank, it shotguns the hit and gives you a crap load of charges. See, I just got seven charges for that. So right here, I'm going to just, you know, get to full life. And I'm going to show you that even with three targets... Wow, I guess I got really lucky. But even with as few as three targets, you can die to reflect with this build if you go the life build. That's why it's not really practical at all. And um, I think the reason I didn't die there is because the monsters just didn't have enough life. Whereas normally in a, a party with more people, they would have more life and that would have more damage reflected. So, you know, this is not a build that you can really try um, just like for fun. Um, if you don't, you know, expect to do it on hardcore at least. But it's really fun. It's probably the most amusing build that I've played in hardcore just because it's so ridiculous. Uh, and eventually I hope to have enough gear, have enough levels on my character to uh, make this exact character in its uh, fully refined form one day. But until then, I'm just playing the support role, throwing up those fire traps and uh, having fun with my party members. So I hope you guys enjoy that in the meantime and eventually we'll be uh, ridiculously overpowered. So until then, see you guys tomorrow.